I wish it was really May 27th and not June 27th. What do you do? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of took a bit of a sabbatical from taking video <laughs> after we got through planting. We finished up uh, white beans last Wednesday and uh, they're actually just starting to come through the ground. So that's so seven days. We always have a rule with edible beans that we like to see them twice in one week. Out of the bag into the planter and then out of the field or out of the ground. Uh, so we're close to that rule, which is nice. Uh, as you can see behind me, we got the Alari cart all set up to side dress. Uh, pretty lucky right now. Both the kids are helping on the farm uh, now that school is over. Jack's home uh, from college and Jess has done her high school exams. Uh, so they've been helping out the last couple days on the farm, which has been nice. So on Monday, Jack and I got the Larry Card all switched over to side dress. I would have videotaped it, but uh, there would have been uh, so much profanity that uh, <laughs> I would have had to edit most of it out. It would have been a silent movie. No, it wasn't that bad. Uh, it just took uh, a bit of figuring out because it was the first time we've ever done it. We got uh, fertilizer delivered. We're actually using a product called Amidas. Uh, which is 40% urea and then 5.5% sulfur and we're using that to uh, side dress with so uh, I actually got some people to do some side dressing for me already uh, with the spinner spreader and Amazon uh, Dietrich from the Lucan area not far from me they did uh, 280 acres for me on the weekend because I went to a friend's cottage to relax and uh, so they did that for me. I'm actually gonna see if it's okay with them. I wouldn't mind actually doing some drone footage of them doing it so you can get an idea of what happened. But they have a spinner spreader that uh, throws it fairly far. It looks like about 100 feet based on the tracks in the field. And it just broadcasts it. And we actually got a nice little shower about a tenth and a half the other night which washed all, melted the pearls and washed it all into the soil. So uh, corn's looking good. Uh, I'm doing the rest of corn with my side dress rig. And we're going to do some experiments too as well where we're going to knife it in or use the openers to put in the soil and then we're actually going to leave them raised and blow it on top and see if there's a difference in yield uh just curious uh, we always always like to do experiments around here but i think tonight with the wind being uh fairly low uh i'm going to probably spray uh, some of their corn is actually growing and it looks good uh, so just try to stay out of the weeds and still get good coverage um, next week or actually the next three or four days have pretty warm temperatures uh, kind of really high 20s uh, talking 29 degrees tomorrow so today was the day that I actually wore shorts so I'm just gonna back this beast back in and uh, Load up the sprayer and go out and spray 80 acres tonight probably. Uh, maybe try to do a tank in the morning and then we'll start side dressing tomorrow and I'll get some footage of that as we get going. And uh, I'm likely going to have to steer because the uh, I wasn't 100% on my offset for my lines, which is not the end of the world. I'll probably try to get Jack to do some drone footage for me uh, tomorrow and you can get an idea what it looks like in the field. But I'll maybe just show you what the Amidas looks like. So that's the Amidas. As I said, it's uh, urea and sulfur melted down and uh, re-pearled back together. So the consistency of the product's really nice and I'm hoping it alleviates some of the issues with urea in terms of being uh, goopy. So we're gonna find out, I guess, once we get going, but uh, nice way to get sulfur uh, and nitrogen together. It's a premium product. I think it's gonna work out well. Okay, it's uh, Thursday evening. I started to side dress today, did some spraying this morning, got two tanks of uh, corn herbicide off uh, on the corn, 
uh, this morning and then uh, got uh, fertilizer as I said you saw last night that was delivered so I started to do some side dressing so got side dressing before just before lunch and so far I got 58 acres done uh, just trying to get some things figured out on it it's been going really well actually everything seems to be calibrated properly and uh, running good this Amidas product is really nice actually and I'll talk a bit more about that when I get going, but uh, just gonna head to the field, got the drone with me, and uh, we'll see if we can get some footage. I got a steer, or I have been steering. I'm gonna try to get the auto steer figured out on this. There's an offset in here that I just haven't figured out yet to get the shift right on it, so once I get that figured out, I'm hoping that I can hit the auto steer and then do uh, fly the drone and get some, uh, some footage that way. So anyways, that's cool. Side dress some corn. Sun's kind of nice, you can see it there. Um, so this corn is in my one video. I don't know which video it's called. I'll maybe put the card up there, but I was planting this field and did some drone footage. Uh, I think uh, it was titled, The End of Corn? Question mark. So this corn's been planted about a month, uh, if my guess is right. Uh, I think today's like the 27th of June, I'm not sure. And I think it was planted uh, right around that time in May, May 27th. But uh, give you an idea of what it looks like. So this stuff was planted a little, well, I guess it was when I was doing the drone footage, this stuff was planted uh, that day. This stuff over here was planted a little bit, uh, maybe three or four days sooner. And it's hard to tell, but there is a bit of a height difference. But, uh, you know, if it was May 27th, I'd be pretty happy. June 27th, I wish it was a fair bit higher, but uh, you know, I think considering the spring, uh, we're pretty fortunate about the way it looks, so I'm not gonna complain. That's the Alari going there. The nice part about this Amidas product is uh, it seems to handle these Oh, today is a beautiful day, like 29 degrees, humid, uh, great corn growing weather, but if you were using urea, it would be a complete gong show, uh, probably, but this Amidas is working really well. Quite happy with how it's flowing, it, and it doesn't seem to be getting sticky and sitting up, so that's a real nice feature about it. Now, it's a bit of a premium product, it's a 40, 005.5 uh, so we got some sulfur with it which is what uh, I like about the idea you know it's kind of that nice ratio for up sulfur with the nitrogen when you apply something uh, ever since uh, the coal fire plants got shut down uh, we're uh, having to put some sulfur uh, to feed our crops because we don't have the acid rain anymore which is good for the environment but uh, you know something we didn't have to manage before and now we do so uh, but with these kind of products in the marketplace, it makes it a lot easier. So uh, it's been working out really well. I did a, I'm gonna do some tests too, just to see what it's like. I'm actually just, uh, there was 24 rows I did over on the other side of the farm where I left it raised uh, and just blew the fertilizer down in between the rows. Uh, to see how it compares to actually incorporating it with the openers. Uh, as I said before, I got uh, a chunk of my corn spread with uh, the Amazon cart, or Amazon, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is this broadcast on top. It caught a nice little shower, so it got washed in. Uh, Murphy's Law, the uh, weather has the top kind of shutting off on us now and going a little drier, so uh, we'll have to see if this product sitting on top how it makes out uh, It's usually nice to get a nice shower to kind of wash it in but uh, It just doesn't seem to be rain in the forecast. So uh, I'm gonna pick away at trying to get this auto steer figured out Hopefully get the drone up uh, and we'll uh, go from there, but uh, I got another load of fertilizer coming tomorrow morning So I'm gonna try to get this emptied out tonight and that keeps us going for tomorrow